In this video, I'm going to show the expansion jacks on the Ohm RGB. In addition to the MIDI in, MIDI out, and USB, we also have expansion jacks, the same ones we have on our block controller. They're on all new Ohm RGB controllers. They allow you to connect two quarter inch uh, foot pedals. This is a Roland style foot pedal. I have one sitting right here. And it also allows you to connect um, a ribbon cable to connect eight additional analog controls. Uh, these can be touch sensors, uh, rotary pots, faders, um, photo resistors, uh, accelerometers, all kinds of cool uh, devices that you can connect uh, to here and it really allows you to customize your setup. For my demo here, I've created this little uh, board here with four faders and four rotary knobs. Uh, it has four buttons, I'm not going to be using them in this demo. Um, and it's just a single uh, ribbon cable connecting, allowing me to access to the brain on the RGB. Um, so this is my little sidecar. I like to use this for my device control, uh, in addition to the device control I have here. Uh, but you could really make a simple one here. It doesn't have to be this pretty. Uh, this is just our BYOB board um, with 16 uh, rotary pots on it. And you can obviously only use eight at a time, but have additional control. So if you want to customize setup, uh, you can really use this as your instrument and think of these as almost your effects pedals, like a guitarist would have an effects pedal. So I'm going to show you this in live, um, my live set. Uh, you can use this for audio, video, lights, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have to be just music and it doesn't have to be just live. This is just the example I'm showing you. I'm using the new remote script for Ableton Live, which gives you different modes. I have the standard um, launching clips, uh, soloing tracks, arming tracks. Um, then I have the DJ mode and I also have performance mode, uh, which gives me the uh, drum rack. Uh, synth and bass, um, and so I'm just going to show you a couple basic examples using using this and how I can add additional control. So if I go ahead and just start my live set, launch the scene. I would have my normal device control. Uh, so my normal device control would be these controls right here. And this would give me uh, control of device rack and I switch devices by using this here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now I'm going to show you my added controls with my sidecar here, my device sidecar. Um, so I'm using this. I have two different effects going on here. I have my beat repeat. So I have that set up on these four faders, and then I got this uh, performance EQ here I have set up. So you can see you can get some really cool effects going on. Um, now with my foot pedal, I have different effects set up. So I'm using this obviously with my hand, but it gives me real good expressive control. If I wanted to turn both on, So you can see using these devices I can create a total customized setup. Um, it allows for a lot of expandability, flexibility using our controller. You can really use this as your instrument and add things on just like I said before like a guitarist would add a pedal um, to enhance his you know, setup. You can add your own little um, boards, your own little setups, your own little faders, your own controls to really make this your instrument, your performance instrument and get a lot out of using the OMRGB.